Welcome back to another episode of Drink Tales. And today, we're, we're, we're pivoting a little different. So, it's January. Mm-hmm. And a popular trend that's been going on for a few years now is something called Dry January. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Basically, what Dry January is, it's a public health trend where in the month of January... People abstain from alcohol. I mean, I don't see why y'all want to be healthy. (laughs) (laughs) Or y'all was drinking and drugging for all the years before. Look, 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 sure. (laughs) If it gets people to be healthy, that I I, I, I get that, but I'm just saying, why the pride of three now? (laughs) Like, look, some people want to. As you said, drink and drug. <laughs> drink and drug. <laughs> anyway, so we decided let's see if we can come up with some drinks that do not need alcohol. I mean, it's not hard. Orange yeah. juice, yeah, apple juice, exactly, like stuff like that. But we're we're gonna make a mocktail mm-hmm. with no alcohol in it, and this may be something we do several other times throughout the month. Yeah, you know, just a there are options out there for you guys to have whenever you want to do a dry January or a dry any month. I mean, you don't have to you don't have to designate a specific month for these type of things. Right. Just do it because you want to or do it whenever. Mm-hmm. Like no nut November doesn't have to be in November. Mm-hmm. I mean, technically some of y'all are no nut November. <laughs> So, I mean, I'm just saying, you don't have to dry January (laughs) just in January. Well, you just made sure no infels will watch this channel. Thanks for that. (laughs) Well, I mean, you just called them infels. And that doesn't necessarily mean you an infel because you know nothing November all year long. It may mean, I mean... COVID made a lot of people no nut November all year long. COVID also made a, nut, a, a lot of people like all over nut. nut. Yeah, all, over nut. No all nut. nut all year. <laughs> yeah. All nut all year. <laughs> but, you know, let's move away from nut. Yeah. Nutting. Unless we're putting nut bag in the drink. We're not. Okay. Yeah. So we're new. <laughs> but anyway, we are Drink Tales. Drink is in the name. Mm-hmm. That does not mean the drinks have to have alcohol in it. Mm-hmm. So, what are you making? Uh, I'm just doing, since this is our first episode of this, I'm just going to do a basic, basic, as it were. Mm-hmm. Um, I just want to introduce the fact that you could make a mocktail, as it were. Mm-hmm. With just about anything, just as long as you know what your flavor profiles are, you right. have any knowledge about what goes with what, mm-hmm. then you could put together a decent cocktail mm-hmm. that doesn't have alcohol in it, mm-hmm. or that does have alcohol in it. If you're not dry January, okay. So we're gonna start off with. So here's the thing. I did this wrong because I was wanting to get the lime juice out of the way. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to use basil Mm -hmm. in this drink. So we got some basil left over from a previous whatever. And I'm going to use that to muddle in my drink. Okay. Just looking for the right leaves and the like to use for this. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to muddle that with the lime juice and some agave. The juice of one lime, right? One of those small limes. Okay. You know, I've gone on this rant a thousand times okay. about we the limes okay. and stuff like that. <laughs> but juice, juice of half a lime or half an ounce of uh, lime juice, mm-hmm. if you so mm-hmm. will, or whatever. Mm-hmm. 
and some agave nectar. Half an ounce of agave nectar. Okay. And I'm gonna muddle that to get the flavor of the basil in this drink. Mm -hmm. Because I want that to be the headliner as far as the flavor profile is concerned. Okay. If not the headliner, it's probably going to be in the background or foreground of everything else. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't take much to muddle. Mm -hmm. If you don't, if you would like to not muddle, you could easily just throw it in there and then when you shake up your drink, you can, it uh, muddle everything itself. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna add an ounce of pineapple juice and it could really be, honestly, any type of juice mm -hmm. as long as it pairs well with the basil and the other ingredients yes like for example this could have easily have been grapefruit juice oh, okay. and we're gonna add our ice as it were. Mm -hmm. works great that basil is in the background it's soft in the background too I like that mm -hmm. that is really good and that's the point of um, you know club soda mm -hmm. or soda water or whatever mm -hmm. is an easy ingredient to use to conjure up a mocktail as it were mm -hmm. Because all it's really doing is adding, is lengthening the um, ingredients that you have. Mm -hmm. For example, I'm pretty sure what I just made there before the club soda was, and you could see it in the color, how deep the color was. It was a little bit on the syrupy side. Mm -hmm. You put that club soda in there, it stretches it out, mm -hmm. um, and it adds that spritzy flavor to it. Mm -hmm. But of course, I have to taste it to see, you know. Yeah. And I like that the basil puts a bit of a, a kick into it. Oh, yeah, that's really good. Mm -hmm. The limey juice is just understated enough mm -hmm. to melt with that basil and pineapple juice. If I had to add a, um, add a uh, garnish to it, like a lime wheel, Mm -hmm. A line would, would look would be easily. Really good. Easily. Um, here's a curious question for you. Mm -hmm. What would you, if this was not dry January, what would be the alcoholic components of a drink like this? Because in my in my head, white wine would go. Yeah. 
I think we or, or a champagne or sparkling. Yeah, 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 yeah. Something along the lines of mm-hmm. that. Um, even if you don't, now if you don't go that route and add that spritz to it, mm-hmm. I'm thinking. See, part of me wants to say either tequila or basil. Mm-hmm. Not basil. I'm sorry. Either tequila or gin. Mm-hmm. I would lean more towards gin because of the basil notes, but mm-hmm. I would lean more towards tequila because of the agave nectar. Okay. So that may be an experiment we try one day. Okay. Uh, do you have a name for this, or are you I, naming I, it? I, or? <laughs> I don't really have a name for it, but at least right now, I may have something in the in the um the thumbnail okay so well yeah. it, it, it was pretty it's pretty delicious um like i really like this maybe like a seriously. basil spritz yeah the basil spritz i like that that's yeah the basil spritz good name and with that right. said and done Maybe it doesn't count as a spritz because we're not using sparkling wine or whatever, but it's a non-alcoholic basil spritz. Sure. Yeah, and the go. alcoholic version would, would have sparkling wine. Mm-hmm. So, that'll do it for this episode of Drink Tales. Be sure to like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you're notified of all content coming to the channel. Also, check us out on Instagram, check us out on Facebook, and check us out on Twitter. Guys, if you know of any foods and drinks that you think we haven't consumed yet or you think we would like to consume, let us know about it. Hit us up in our DMs. We're doing some more traveling this year. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, uh, we did a lot of traveling last year, Mm -hmm. and it was great, and we want to do more this year. Mm -hmm. And we want to know what we need to consume in our bodies when we get to these location locations right we also need we would like you know location suggestions too where you guys think we should go what what what's good what food and drink rise what's popping let us know you know we 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 take all suggestions nothing wild and crazy though Mm -hmm. that'll do it for this episode of drink tales and until next time everybody peace got a question for you Yesterday when